Hello everybody! So, I'm back from holiday and finally I can play some FS22 again. And yes, this is my first day on Carpathian countryside. Uh, this was decided by you guys. I put out the poll out there uh, on my YouTube page. And this is the one you wanted me to play uh, on New Farmer. So I have started it on New Farmer. Now I'm gonna twist it a little bit, you know, I, I like to do things a little bit different here and there. Uh, so I've made myself some kind of a challenge, actually. Um, so I'm gonna go quickly through, uh, there's not that many rules. Uh, the main rule I have is that I cannot use any mods which are older than 7 days. However, if the mod has got an update within seven days, I can use that. Uh, so, for instance, uh, you have a, a mod, a tractor, which came out one year ago. And if it's getting an update today, I can use it. But I can only use it for, you know, within seven days. If it's more than seven days since it's got update, I have to return it so it's gonna be a lot of leasing i think um and another uh, rule i've set or not the rule but a, a basis is that i'm gonna sell everything i have on new farmer so there, there's a lot of tractors there a lot of equipment uh which i'm gonna sell so that's the first thing i'm gonna do and then i'm gonna um, buy myself one tractor one in-game tractor and a trailer i think if you look on the map this is new farmer this is what you start with now these two wheat fields here are actually ready to harvest so i'm gonna need myself a harvester and luckily this is one of those um things you can do if we go into to do harvesters and we have a pack called the colossus now this harvester here is a part of a pack which is called the Colossus uh, Harvester Pack. And this one got an update just a couple of days ago. I'm recording this on 6th of June. So that means that I cannot use any mods that are older than, what, 31st of May. Uh, but this one here got an update uh, which included a cotton harvester. Uh, these guys here, I think. Yeah. So that means I can use this pack. And this pack includes this harvester. So that that's what I mean. Uh, so I, it's going to be a lot of work for me. I need to check the mod hub every, you know, single time. I'm going to start, a let's, uh, you know, a new episode on this one. But I think it's going to be uh, an interesting one. <laughs> and by the way, I haven't done any map tour on here. So I'm pretty naked when it comes to uh, where is what and what is where. Uh, I know there's a lot of shed places and we have cows, we have uh, chickens, do we? No, we got horses, pigs and two cow barns and a lot of equipment. So if we jump into here, all of this, I'm gonna sell everything. And let's see how much money we get. So, we're coming back to the three last items. And let's see our bank account. There we go. 965. When it comes to settings, uh, I do have uh, not everything on, but most of things on. Uh, I'm on easy, uh, you know, why make things difficult when you can have fun while you're playing? Uh, the only thing I have off is crop destruction. I, I hate to... <laughs> I, don't, I don't like it. Uh, and, you know, why should you play with something which you don't like? Uh, I have plowing on, stones on, and weeds on. Weeds, okay. Okay, I'll, I'll live with it. Uh, but that's it. Uh, I also discovered there's a baling contract, 48,000 for silage bales. 
Now the thing here is that I can use the tractor uh, mowers and uh, wind rower, but I cannot use that baler because that baler there is a mod uh, or part of the grail pack which is more than seven days old. So I cannot use that one, but I'm going to lease the equipment, uh, but I, I cannot use the baler. <laughs> so let's see, let's push the right button here. Now I'm going to borrow the items, bam, like so. Uh, so there we go. And then I'm going to, I'm going to buy myself a tractor. And I'm thinking I'm, I'm going to go a little bit big, but not too big. I'm, I think I'm going to go for this guy here. This guy here can go from 305 to 388 horsepower. Uh, yeah, wheels, wides, we oh. Should we go that way? No, just the uh, wides with weight. You three point, yeah, three point or front loader. I cannot have both. But I guess there is a workshop trigger at my farm, so I can change it. I'm going to keep a three point now. And 250,000. I'm going to buy it. Bam. There we go. And now I'm going to jump to the shop. So here we go. Uh, yeah, so this guy here, I cannot use. But I have a really good uh, substitute for this one. Which also got an update just a couple of days ago. And I've seen, uh, you know, while I was in Bulgaria, uh, I've followed, you know, some of the YouTubers and I've seen some having trouble with it. But I'm gonna at least try it. And that's the, let's see, it's a quick, quick, <laughs> it's a quick, quickie bail. As you can see, I have a lot of mods installed, but I can't use most of these. And I was thinking, well, should I just delete everything and just include the ones I'm going to use? But then, you know, maybe I have another Let's Play or I'm doing some testing and it's going to be a mess to, to find everything back. So you just have to trust me that I'm actually using uh, only new mods or only new updated mods. Uh, so this is the one, quick bail, quick, quick bail. It's the same, just, uh, it's quicker. <laughs> so let's see, oh, this is the golden edition, Trelleborg. Yeah, I don't think uh, I'm going to change anything here. Design, no brand. Ooh. Okay. What? Oh, we got John Deere. This one I need to lease. Rare riches. Yeah, you can have um, both. Right, left. No. You know what? I think I'm going to go both. Silage additive. Uh, yes. Yeah, it's a bailing contract. Foil color. I'm going to keep... What is it? Yeah, I think I'm just going to keep it white. Uh, or should we try John Deere green? <laughs> no, let's keep it white. Uh, main color, we can. Oh, look at this. Oh, so metallic. Oh, a little bit too metallic. Uh, green satin. Oh, rim color. Oh, yellow. There we go. Hmm, okay. Anything else? I'm gonna lease it. It's requiring 100 horsepower can take uh, silage bales up to 180. Okay, I'm gonna lease this one. Bam. There we go. So now this one here can do the mowing. Um, I guess these guys here you cannot do any wind rowing with. So I guess I also have to do wind rowing. And these guys here. Let's just see if these guys fits. There we go. I need my help window. I guess it's uh, standard operated. Unfold, lower, turn on, automatic drop. Change bail size 150, 120, 180. Yeah. 
um, the field I'm going to is, what was it, field 17, 48,000, so it's probably a big one. Oh, I see something. Ooh. The fields on this map is really big, actually. So we're going to need some big equipment on this one. What do I have here? Ooh, oh. Ah, there are forklifts on the production facility. Okay. Uh, these ones I cannot get removed, but anyway, they are there. Okay, field 17. You know what? Let's try the um, active worker one. Uh, go to, and uh, let's see if we can use this one here, like so, maybe, bam, start job, can you do that, buddy? There we go. All right, all right. There we go. And now I can jump in this one. And we can do the mowing. Oh, we got a we got a telehandler also here. <laughs> like I said, I'm new to this map, so uh, bear with me. All right, I'm going to see you down at the field. And uh, let's do some uh, bailing contract. So here we are at the field and wow is it the big one <laughs> Man it's gonna be a lot of bales out there that's for sure uh, I haven't even checked where it's gonna be delivered yet uh, But I did uh, forget about one thing So what I did yes I reset my John Deere back to the uh, shop and that is because I forgot the silage additive. Uh, so what I've done now is I have changed the John Deere from a front three point to a front loader. And I bought myself, which I hope is the right front loader. This is uh, the in-game biggest John Deere oh, um, front loader, which is called, let's see what's it called there now, but it's John Deere 700M. There we go. And a normal in game. Um, I cannot use the uh, big bag lifter, but. Uh, <laughs> so. <laughs> I'm starting to re regret it already, this one. But uh, let's see. I, I Like I said, I don't have um, um, a goal yet with this uh, challenge. Uh, I just have to play it as, you know, as it goes by. It's, and then the in-game silage additive tank. No, it's not much, but uh, this is gonna make. Uh, I think it's is it five percent? A five percent increase in the amount of silage I'm gonna get. So yeah, I've been uh, I've been on holiday one week in Bulgaria. And wow, was that a success. Uh, I went with me and my two girls. I have two girls at 8 and 10 years old. And ooh, this was a bumpy one. And we had, yeah, one of my best vacations ever, actually. Uh, the weather was perfect. The hotel we lived in was really nice. Uh, it's one of the biggest hotels I've ever been on. <laughs> It's called the um, Melia Grand Hermitage. It was a five-star hotel, all-inclusive. And you think, wow, that sounds expensive. But it wasn't actually that expensive. And that is because I ordered this vacation uh, during, you know, normal school days. Uh, and in a couple of weeks' time, um, when the school holiday starts here in Norway, and in Europe in general, uh, the prices are going up almost double the amount. So the price for us three in a big um, 
hotel room, all inclusive, was yeah, it was overcomable. No, that's the wrong word. It was doable. <laughs> and when I say all inclusive, you know, you have your normal uh, three meals a day: uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But everything in between, you know, there were uh, a separate um, hamburger uh, restaurant which were open all day. Uh, there was a pizza guy standing and just delivering out free pizza all day. Uh, there were, you know, a bar. Well, there was actually three bars open from 10 in the morning to 11 in the evening. And you could just go and tap yourself a barley water or the kids. They could just run over there and get some soda or water or orange juice. Whatever they wanted to drink. Uh, there was um, an ice cream stand. The kids could, you know, eat as much ice cream as they wanted. Let's see, where did I go now? I need to check the map here now. There, there, there. Um, so yeah, and there were a, a big pool area with water slides and yeah, you name it. So yeah, it was uh, and it it was the first time uh, my kids ever been in an airplane. So I was excited and they were definitely excited. Uh, it's only about three, three hours and ten minutes from uh, Norway to Bulgaria, so it wasn't a big uh, long flight. But I, you know, I, a fun fact, or not a fun fact, but uh, I actually met some people from the U.S. and Canada over there. Ninety-eight uh, percent of the people there were, you know either Norwegian or Bulgarian people uh, but then there were these two uh, one American guy and one Canadian guy travel all the way to Europe for a vacation let's see how now let's see if we can uh, fill this up with some silage additives there we go start filling oh come on where's my help window there we go, refill Baylor. Ooh, yeah. So whilst he is refilling, we can start with this guy. And what I did discover on the way over here is that this this uh, back mower here, you can actually put it on... Doo -doo. Where is toggle work mode? Uh, maybe I need to unfold it. There we go, toggle work mode, L3. Swap dropping. And on this one, there's no... Uh, I can just... Dab, bam. Uh, and lower that one. And slide into here. Put the back mower down. And this should make a swap. Oh, why, why, whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on with it? Oh, I didn't turn on the back mower. <laughs> There we go. So yeah, what I'm what I'm probably gonna do is uh, wow, this is a big field. Hoochie mama. Uh, I'm probably gonna do maybe two headlands myself here, and then I'm gonna um, then I'm gonna start the baler, I think. And let's see how quick this baler is. One thing I haven't... Oh, you know what? This is... This is probably gonna make me... I don't know. How many bales do you think? 40, 50 bales maybe? And I need to handle them. Ay, 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 I didn't... Ay, ay. Oh man, I don't have any autoload trailers. Uh, you know what? I need to check the mod hub if we have any autoload trailers for the last week, which I can lease. If not, I need to. Well, I don't need to do it completely manually. Um, I could always use. Let's see here now. 
Bayloaders. Uh, oh, I have the Bayloader, which came with a contract, of course. Uh, which is this one. I think. Let's uh, let's jump back here now. Uh, let's jump back to the shop. Bam. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, this one. No, not this one. This one. The Anderson one. This is a semi-autoload trailer. I think it takes... 12? 10 or 12? Hmm... Is it full? Yeah, it's full. Alright, I'll uh, see you in a moment uh, when I've done uh, two headlands, I think. And I'll put the worker on this one. Whew. So there we go, I've taken two headlands now and uh, yeah, this field is not of course uh, squared, but you know what, I think I'm, I've lined up the JCB now in 270, so that means that this guy here is going to go back and forward like so, all the way down, hopefully. It's going to be some bits and bobs and pieces in the end, but you know what, I'm going to put a work on it. Let's see. Bam. Two seven zero. There we go. I can jump out of here. And now let's try this quick, quick bail. A <laughs> quick, quick bail. Uh, let's see. What kind of bail size do I want? Um, you know what? This is gonna be so many bales. I think I'm gonna go with the biggest one. Even though it's not always the smartest one when you know when you know when it comes to contracts. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go 180. I'm gonna unfold the bailer. Oh, well now I wish I had an outload trailer on the back here. <laughs> lower pickup and turn it on, lower it. And bam, full speed ahead. Let's see how now when we hit the grass. Oh, oh man. Oh, does, does it have a wider pickup? You can see it's barely touching that other line there. What happens if I drive in the middle here now? Let's, don't tell me I can do two lines here now. Oh no, barely, no, it's not gonna work, it's taking, ah, oh, okay, 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 can't, oh, what I could do, of course, I could, um, then I need uh, a third tractor, hmm, I could lease myself uh, a tractor to drive the wind rower, and to wind row two lines. And I'm just thinking to make this as efficient as possible. And you, buddy, are totally going the wrong way. I want you to go the other way. But yeah, I didn't check the speed now, only quickie quickie. Let's see, let's line you up there, buddy. Two seven zero more or less and higher worker. There we go. Okay, buddy, let's do some bailing. Do I have uh, automatic drop? Yes. Let's run on that one. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. I'm doing 32. <laughs> what? And it turns. The... Oh man. It... Okay. Uh, look at the wrapping. Ooh. Oh yeah, yeah, okay, this and <laughs> man, this is crazy. And it turns the bales. How much are these? Since this is a contract, it's directly silage, yeah. 7500. Whoa. And this got an update, what, two, three days ago? So I still I can still use this for two, three days. Oh man, I need more grass contracts. Ooh, lights on there. 
Oh man, and wide pickup is a little bit wider pickup is also helping a lot when you're doing 32 kilometers an hour. <laughs> Look at it going. Is it using silage additive? Oh yeah. And with a bail dropper. Alright, I'm gonna have some fun with this one. I'm gonna put on some music and uh, yeah, it's gonna be fun doing silage bales. And I probably have to look in the Mardub to see if there are any any kind of uh, autoload trailers or bale trailers uh, within the last seven days. If not, I'm, I, I'm just gonna use the Anderson one. Alright, alright, here we go. Uh, we have made the total amount of 118 bales, which are, which is almost 900,000 liter with silage. And yeah, was this a pleasant experience? Yes, it was with this little quickie quickie bale here. <laughs> uh, I just left a small strip here just to show you how accurate you know how wide the pickup actually is compared to the baler so if I drive over here now there you see so it's yeah I want to say twice as wide as the baler itself which helps a lot um, and as you probably also saw the <laughs> the baler here is uh, much faster than the uh, mower setup actually which is you know usually 22 23 kilometers an hour uh, so you know I caught up with the JCB and the mower uh, what I also have done uh, I've checked the mod hub uh, for the last seven days and there is one pack with the bay loaders, uh, which I think hopefully are um, autoload trailers, and that's the Crossetto pack. Uh, let's see if we jump into here now. Uh, bay loaders, do, 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 do. these guys here. Now, what I have least is this guy here. This is the biggest one, it will take 180 round bales. And uh, you can you can configure it uh, as you want actually. Um, the only thing I, I hope I don't miss the option of is this guy here, the front mounting. You can have it. Uh, yes, you see here 125 centimeter round bales, 150 round bales, 180 round bales. So this is the one I've chosen. I wonder if I took this one, maybe I, it, yeah, we'll see. Uh, but I'm gonna go down to the shop and pick it up. You know, this baler here, uh, let me see, I think this got an update, was it two days ago? I think I'm gonna keep hold of this one. I do have the, um, I do have the do, 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 uh, wheat harvesting to do. And I could also make store bales with this one. Yeah, and we'll see how much the the bale contract will take. I'm gonna keep the the bonus bales. Um, I'm gonna use. Uh, yeah, we 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 need to do some high school mathematics when it comes to how many bales we need to deliver. All right, I'm gonna leave that one here. Uh, I could have, of course, left it on my farm. Let's see, I need to get the 
operating position up now. Come on, buddy. Uh, L1. Nay! What? Are you kidding me? Uh, what in the world is that? R1. Right stick up and down. What? Tension belts? Yeah, you can actually change the color of the tension belts on, on this one now. Uh, but what is L1 and R... No, R1. Right stick. Nothing is happening. L1, start charging. Stop charging. <laughs> what is this? Uh, start charging. Okay. All right. Um. Yeah, we just have to try. Oh, oh, oh! Where's the traffic jam here? Come on, buddies! All right, I got my spikes up in the air, like we actually should be driving with uh, what? Not spikes, but. Uh, Forks. So let's see. Moment of truth there. Uh, let's see if the charging is actually loading. Uh, okay, I'm on the trailer. Start charging. Bam. Come on, buddy. Take him. Oh, yes. Let's see. One is 4%. How many of these will we get? Two is nine. Ooh. Okay, that means what? Well, we're gonna get 20. That's gonna be what? Well, five loads. Hmm. Okay, I thought this would take more, but okay. I looked at the uh, I looked at the Anderson um, trailer, which came with the contract. Uh, it says that it's taking 24 bales. But I think 24 bales are the smallest bales, like 125. I could be wrong. You know what? Let's try the... Um, yeah, so unload bales. Yeah, so that's what those icons are for. Okay. And back and forward. And up and down. And oh, okay. We got the twist function also. Uh, let's see, L1 and R1. Oh, yeah, L1 and R1. Oh, all right. Uh, let's... <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, unload bail, sir. Bam, start charging. Uh, there we go. And the bail contract is 20% completed. And it's going to... Let's see, I thought I saw the icon down here. Yeah, all the way down here. That's the contract icon. Jenny's Old Stone Farm. Alright, I'll see you down there. And I think... Yeah, what I'm usually doing is... I usually take maybe a couple of bales. And then I see how much percent one bale is. And and then try to you know multiply and see how many bales we need to deliver to get to a hundred percent. All right, we are at Jenny's, and it seems like we get a quite some nice uh, you know welcome here by Jenny herself. All right, so you want some bales, Jenny? <laughs> Uh, I had I just had to tag the place because uh, yeah let's tag it again because there's no uh, there's no you know like a cell point uh, you know it's on the farm. But what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna unload the bales onto the trailer. Let's see unload bales, unload bales here. Bam. Ooh there we go. And then disconnect that one. Switch to the front loader 
and then I'm gonna let's see if we can get uh, two bales or is it easier with one uh, do, 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 do. you know what I, I'm gonna take one I don't think I, I can manage to lift two bales 15,000 liter we should be able at least to get one come on buddy you can do one oh yeah Okay, so now I need to watch how many percent one bale is. Yeah, okay. Alright, alright. Around there. What? Tag the place again. No, silage. Tag. Oh, come on. Come on, Jenny. What is going on here? Let's check the contract. <laughs> Take the bales to Jenny's old stones farm. Oh man, come on. Oh, is it here maybe? No, oh, that's, what is this? Toys astray. Oh, it's there of course. It's the reset point, or the, the uh, yeah, the point, the, the black lantern is on the wrong place. <laughs> Alright, okay, buddy. There we go. Uh, 1%. Oh, she. Oh, man. Ooh, ooh, 1%. That means one bale. Uh, 1%. That means that I need to deliver. I need to deliver a hundred bales, which is only gonna leave me with 18. Let's see, how many bales did I say here now? Of course. Did I say 20 this one took? 31. No, that's not. Okay. So that's one third. So I need three loads of these, which is which is gonna be what sixty bales, which we're gonna leave me with sixty. Oh, now I'm confused. All right, let's take one more load here now and see. Spike spikes up, buddy. I've been dri driving uh, on some of these roads here, and it seems like maybe I'm gonna get a little bit in trouble with that big um, Colossus pack harvester. <laughs> so some of the roads are really tight, especially through the villages. But anyway, we we'll just have to try. Let's see. I came from here, didn't I? Yeah. All right. Oh, uh, I don't. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'm back here. Uh, you know what? I, I thought my tractor was a little bit uh, uh, unsteady when I was driving back and forward. And the reason for that is I think this trailer here has its own camera. Or is it the front loader? Because if, if I go in here now, uh, this is the in, uh, you know, first person camera. This one is this angle, like so, and then if I press R3 one more time, bam, then I got this one. This is the tractor. So I think, yeah, it's got its own um, its own uh, camera. Uh, but anyway, so the first 22 bales uh, gave me 31%. So another 22 bales, this should give me, what, 62%? I'm gonna unload the bales onto the trailer, like so. Come on, buddy. Come on, Jenny. There we go. Uh, yeah, 62. So that means um, I need to take uh, 44 bales divided into 62, which means. No, I need to take. 
62 62% divided into 44 bales which is 1.4 so one bale is 1.4% and I'm missing let's say 100 minus 62 I'm missing 38% 38% divided into 1.4 that's 27 bales so I need to deliver another 27 bales all right I'm gonna pick up one more load with 22 and then I'm gonna load up five that should complete the contract Let's see, 44 plus 27, how much is that? <laughs> 44 uh, plus 27, what did I say? 27 plus 44, 71 bales minus 118. That's going to leave me with 46 bales. 46 7,500 liter bales. And I think, you know, I, you know, I'm watching uh, Mr. CLP and I think there is a uh, bale storage here. I think it's here, maybe. No. Here? Yeah, here. No. Grain storage. Ooh. I thought there was a uh, bale storage here someplace. Manure heap. Uh, water tower. Ay, ay, ay. Or oh, did he put it in? Grain storage, liquid fertilizer, vehicle shelter, and storage composition. Ah, oh, it is here. Yeah. So we can put the baits in here. All right, all right. Um, and what I don't want to do, I, I don't want to quit the game now because... Yeah, I've done that before in the middle of a harvesting contract. I haven't done it in the middle of a baling contract, but I'm afraid that the bales will disappear and the contract will disappear. So I need to complete this one. So yeah, I'll see you at the last five bales, I think. Yeah, it's a lot of driving back and forward, but uh, you know, it gets me a little bit more known to the map. Unload bales here. All right, these are all the five last ones. Let's see if we get the tension bells. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Five last bales, which uh, should complete the contract and will leave me with 47 bales. Oh, tension bells off. There we go. Contract finished, and we got 3,000. 47 bales. All right, all right. Uh, so those I can use to make TMR. Uh, we do actually have a field or an area. Let's see, where was it? This is my farm. Yeah, this plot here. Plot number five. Uh, I think it's grass. Let's do like so. No? There's no grass in it? What? Okay, <laughs> I thought that was grass. But anyway, the the contract is complete. 46,000. Uh, at least this is a start. Um, there's maybe one thing I'm regretting already. And that's the ability to do, you know, since I can only use seven days old mods, I cannot use any productions, you know, modded production facilities. Uh, I could, of course, if there is a really good production facility coming out, but I can only use it for seven days. So, yeah. And, you know, what's going to be the next, uh, you know, the only equipment I can buy is in-game equipment. And all the mods I need to lease. So, yeah, it's a, it's a tricky one. Uh, I might have jumped in it too soon, but 
<laughs> but at least now I got the uh, silage bales. Uh, I think that's gonna be it for the first episode. Uh, next one is gonna be harvesting. And I need to jump to that straight away, at least the recording part, because the Colossus, Colossus part, yeah, there we go, the Colossus pack, I think it's five or maybe six days old, so I, I need to, I need to lease myself that today, and I need to start with recording that, <laughs> and that might be the, the last time I can use that Colossus Harvester, uh, at least on this map. Unless it's going to get uh, another update, of course. Alright, but anyway, I think that's going to be it. Oh yeah, you know what? Um, these little small fields here are actually fields. Um, but let's see, if we jump into here. Uh, where am I? I'm all the way down here. You see all of these plots here are actually... Let's see here now. It's, yeah, they all need plowing, of course. Uh, uh, but you cannot buy this area. But all of these are, you know, small little plots. Which is pretty cool. Alright, I'm gonna pit, pick up the uh, remaining bales. And I'm gonna put them in my... Doo -doo -doo. You know what? What we could try now. I, I have no idea how long this... Um, recording has been for but I'm gonna save the game and then I'm gonna try to complete the contract no 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 I'm no I'm not gonna take the chance on that I'm not gonna take the chance on losing 47 silage bales I'm gonna get them into my storage and then I'm gonna save the game and close it